The question was asked in a movie about um, how does it feel to be stupid, and we all find our we all find ourselves in moment of stupidity. I mean, moments of stupidity. That's like moments of not knowing, moments of of ignorance and bliss and all the above to what is and moments of stupidity doesn't come from your intellect it doesn't come from what you have done with life it doesn't come from what you are in life it, it comes from being in a moment when you're so transcendent of the idea of what's going on of what's going on that you're lost in thought you're lost in endless thought of what's going on and so stupidity is nothing more than ignorance it's nothing more than just not knowing what's going on oh uh, what this answer is or what that answer is or what life is about or what life is giving you to at this moment stupidity is something that we all do at different moments but we don't necessarily acknowledge it as that we see what we see and then we don't understand what we see and then we miscomprehend what we see or we don't even think about what we see and then therefore stupidity comes into play now whenever intellect comes comes into play you're talking about years of knowing years of knowing a subject because any intellectual person will tell you that they have studied this for this many years or this many months or this many um, possess, pos procession of time with that being said, intelligence is only based on time and the space doing it to learn those things. So, intelligence is nothing except for knowing what you've seen. Knowing that this, and let's say mathematics, knowing that 8 times 8 is 64. Okay? If you but to be stupid about it, you're like eight times eight. What well, what is multiplication? Uh, because you have not seen multiplication before, you have not understood multiplication before. So therefore, you're ignorant to multiplication. And just like reading or writing, people who who can't read and can't write aren't stupid. They just have not been able to see. And that the real question that's the that's the real thing that like um, separates us is that idea that because some people can't see or some people can see or or about this subject or that because every subject is unique and every subject needs great t detail of work to get into <sighs> I'll say this anytime I feel it, and I love life, I love, I've been through my stupid moments, I've been through my intellectual moments, I've been through many moments in between, and life is life, and you just gotta be, I guess, you just gotta be in the now, I mean, I was so stupid the other night for just on and on and on you know carrying out a stupid conversation with a person that I didn't necessarily have any grudge again I mean she what she did at the bar I didn't I still don't necessarily take grudge of that but at the same time whenever you get me into a stupid conversation a stupid argument I will say stupid things because of the energy involved in the stupid conversation and it's like that with any conversation 
If you're in an intellectual conversation, you will say intellectual things. If you're in a stupid conversation, you'll say stupid things. Just what it is. You. Okay, a little bit about myself. This is hard. This is really hard to say. Okay, uh, a little bit about myself is basically anybody I'm around, uh, I absorb their stupidity or their misunderstanding of the reality. Meaning that, like, if I'm around someone who who basically drives around in a car and cusses at people because of their stupidity, then I, in turn, after time of being around that person, become stupid like that and basically, you know, start having road rage like they do, even though that's not my nature, even though that's not who, I, I have never had road rage, ever. But if I'm around people that do, then, I mean, not around, but, you know, know and interact with them every day and become, I mean, I, so therefore, and that's what happened. I, I became the aggressor. Even though I was not aggressing or, you know, being aggressive, I was, was still becoming an aspect of her. So therefore she took a broom on my ass and was like, fuck you, get out. Leave me the fuck alone. Sorry for the language, but that's how it was. Doesn't matter. See that person right there? Determination. There's no greater force in the world than a man or woman determined to rise. I'm going to show you another poster. Just a second. Just a second. That, nothing in the world has ever been accomplished without passion. So do we understand passion? Do we know passion? What is passion? Well, passion is basically a feeling, a strive, a determination to uh, get done what you want done. That's passion. To do what you want to do because of your desire to do it. And there is nothing in the world that has ever not been accomplished without this determining passion. Basically, passion is an aspect of love. So is forgiveness. So is uh, many other things at this moment. But, we have to understand what our passion is. We have to understand why we choose to be passionate about any anything a woman a child a book uh, I mean clothes shopping any any addiction any addiction is just your passionate desire to uh, come to be to that feeling of peace and wonder and joy of knowing that you can do this and that's passion so I just wanted to say hi really I just wanted to say hi and I got into all these multiple subjects so hi bye another moment we'll take care you take care Later.